Beyonce has officially and finally come out in support of Kamala Harris for president. Media Takeout confirmed that there has been a long back and forth between Kamala's team and Beyonce for her to step out and support the vice president. And in the end, Beyonce decided that she would not perform at the event. Kamala's team wanted Beyonce to host a free concert in Philadelphia, since Pennsylvania is a swing state, to help get out the crucial vote in a pivotal state. But Beyonce's team decided against that idea, and both sides compromised on an appearance and speech in Houston, Beyonce's hometown. It was a bizarre choice, given that Texas is a solid red state, that Kamala is unlikely to win with or without Beyonce's help. But Beyonce did make a splash when she took the stage. Seven months ago, Vice President Kamala Harris cheered on Beyonce's newly released album, Cowboy Carter, saying she had redefined a genre and reclaimed country music's black roots. The global superstar said it was time for America to sing a new song and elect Harris. On Friday, Beyonce, who was joined by singer and actress Kelly Rowland, declared her support for Harris, the Democratic presidential candidate, at a rally focused on abortion rights in her hometown of Houston. Texas has some of the most restrictive abortion laws in the country. Our moment is right now. It's time for America to sing a new song, the Beyonce added. A song that began 248 years ago. While Beyonce's speech was good, it wasn't exactly what fans were expecting. Most people were expecting some sort of performance by Beyonce, and not a political speech. But unfortunately, Beyonce didn't perform. Remember, it is extremely important for everyone to turn out and vote in a little over a week if we want a Kamala presidency. We all have to do everything that we can in order to make it happen.